Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 13th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. Today was a beautiful sunny day with temperatures reaching up around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds were light to moderate out of the northwest, so the count was conducted from the south lookout. Here we have a swallow perched on a wire that is blue and green on top and white below. This is a tree swallow, and their color can depend on the angle of the light just because of the iridescence of the feathers. Here's a sparrow that dropped in to visit, and we see some yellow above and in front of the eye. This is a savanna sparrow. The first turkey vultures of the day got up around 8.30 a.m., and they were flying today as late as 6.30 p.m., so in that 10-hour window, we had a lot of turkey vultures come by. We had over 2,800 total turkey vultures migrate past today, which is a really good number for this time of the season since we're a couple weeks past the usual peak time for them. It was a good day for photography with those blue skies, and here we have a Budio with a dark belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk. We see that dark trailing edge to the wings, and the red tail indicate it's an adult. And this is a more heavily marked one, probably from the northern subspecies. We had a lot of helicopters migrate by today. We had probably at least 20 to 25 military helicopters go by heading northeast. Here we have a raptor that's kind of tan and brown overall. We see a long tail and we see kind of long pointed wings. This is a northern harrier. And since it's relatively unmarked on the upper breast and the patagial areas, this is a juvenile. Here we have another hawk with a long tail. This one looks like a big flying cross. We can see that rounded tip to the tail with a white tip. And we see a relatively large head sticking out with the wings held out very straight and teardrop brown streaking concentrated on the upper breast. This is a juvenile Cooper's hawk. This isn't the greatest photo ever, but let's try to work it out. From the speed of the flap of this raptor, we knew it was at least medium sized. It wasn't a real small one. It had a slower flap, so a bigger bird. And looking at the overall shape, we see very pointed wings. So a medium to large falcon. And looking at the overall color, it's kind of bluish or grayish, but darkish overall. And that matches up with peregrine falcon, our only large falcon that we expect to see. So nice to get a peregrine. Uh, this was only our sixth peregrine falcon of the season, and it was the first one in a couple weeks. Here we have a large tan bird with a long neck held out straight and a long pointed bill and long trailing legs. This is a sandhill crane. Here we have a raptor coming in, and it looks like it means business overall. Looking at the top side, it's kind of a grayish color with black wingtips. We see a long tail, and we see a white rump, and we see very fierce yellow eyes. This is an adult male northern harrier. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor with drooping wings. This is an osprey. Here we have a very colorful bird that has yellow underneath with a black bib. We see a long pointed bill. We see a relatively short tail, and we see wings that are kind of hunched down rather than really held out straight. And when this bird was flying, it had a very stuttery flap. This is an eastern meadowlark. Here's a cool moment from the afternoon when we had two adult bald eagles flying together. And actually, I think it was probably one of the local bald eagles chasing another eagle out of its territory. We had a really good crowd out at the South Lookout. It was by far the most people we've had at the South Lookout so far this season. Usually people come out for the big days at the North Lookout, but obviously we can get really good flights at the South Lookout on the northwesterly winds as well. It was a really steady flight the entire day. At certain times, most of the birds were distant, so I ended up with a lot of good photos in total for the day, but at times the flight line was farther inland, but we also had some really nice looks at raptors as well. So really pleasant day to be out at the South Lookout. Today at the South Lookout, we had 45 species, but none of them were new for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, Today we had 2,831 turkey vultures, 11 ospreys, 11 bald eagles. We had 34 northern harriers. For asips, we had 29 sharp-shinned hawks and 9 cooper's hawks. For buteos, we had 2 red-shouldered hawks, 1 broad-winged hawk, and 109 red-tailed hawks. And for falcons, we had 2 American kestrels and 1 peregrine falcon for a grand total of 3,040 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 11,162 and the season total to 29,465. So maybe we'll break 30,000 tomorrow. 
taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow. There might be a little bit of sun in the morning, but then cloudy for most of the day. A high in the low 60s and winds south-southeast at 10 to 15, it was saying for the day summary, although I think those winds are going to be a bit lighter early on and then become strongest in the afternoon. So overall, it's a good wind direction. It'll eventually become a good wind speed, I would say, with the lighter winds in the morning and it being cloudy. It might take a little while for some of the Raptors to get going. So uh, the flight might pick up in the mid-morning and then continue strong in the afternoon. Although there should be a good amount of bird activity in the morning. There's favorable conditions overnight for a good non-Raptor migration. So maybe we'll have some morning flight and maybe some new species arrivals for tomorrow. Broadwinged hawks probably won't hit in big numbers tomorrow. There just have been hardly at any at all reported at other hawk watches in the region, and we've only had two so far ourselves. So we'll probably get some broadwings tomorrow, but um, maybe as many as hundreds if we're lucky, but I don't think we're in position for thousands of broadwings yet, maybe by the end of the week, though. And I also put a note that... Uh, we don't want people parking in the grass. Obviously, if you watched my video from yesterday, a car got stuck in the grass and that was kind of up where it would normally be the driest. And although we did have that sunshine today and maybe that dried it out a bit, um, probably safer to stick to the parking lot for now. If the main parking lot at the North Lookout is full, you can park down below at the bottom of the hill on the large gravel lot along Sage Creek Drive or the parking lot for the uh, observation blind area. So plenty of parking, but uh, yeah, just stay off of the grass so we don't have to get a tow truck for anyone. For Tuesday, expect a few morning showers and then cloudy and windy with the high in the upper 40s and winds west-southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. So Tuesday morning, if it's not too rainy, the winds will have a bit of a southerly component to them and won't be overly strong. But I think as the day goes on, they're going to shift more northerly and get a little stronger than we would want. So maybe Tuesday morning will end up being okay. We'll take another look at that tomorrow. And for Wednesday, windy with snow showers in the morning, a high of only 39 and strong westerly winds, 20 to 30 miles per hour. So light, maybe moderate migration. I could see turkey vultures maybe pushing through on those conditions, but overall, I wouldn't expect it to be a huge day. All right. Well, I thought today may end up being decent, but it was actually surprisingly good. Nice steady flight for the whole day and just a beautiful day to be out. Tomorrow we have good winds and good conditions overall, so hoping for another really big day out here at the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. Hope to see you soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.